This uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4 says, There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. There's one body. I don't care what church you go to, if they're preaching the truth, we're all a part of the same body. If you think the people in your church is the only one going to heaven, you didn't miss it. It's not important that they be in here, it's important they be in him. Somebody say amen. amen. There's one body and one spirit. We may not all praise alike, we may not all sound alike, we may not all look alike, but one thing about it, this is a spiritual connection. It's a spiritual thing. And even as you are called into one hope of your calling, verse 5 says there's only one Lord. There's only one thing. I get excited about that scripture. There's only one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So then who is this one Lord? What is this one faith? What is this one baptism? I want you to know I'm not hiding and I'm not scared. I'm not stuttering and I'm not stumbling. I know the truth of God's word. And I'm going to preach the one Lord, the one faith, and one baptism. One Lord, because there's only one way. And I am not ashamed of that gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation. What, who is this one Lord? Well, I just finished reading about it. He's the one that says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But he did not start in the belly of Mary. His beginning was not in the manger. But his beginning was before the beginning. Because he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning and I am the end. He said before Abraham was, I am. And why did this baffle the, the rabbis of that day? Because the only person that ever confessed and declared that he was the I am was the God that had spoke to Moses through the bush. When Moses says, if I go down, if I go down to Egypt, who will I say that sent me? And God spoke to him out of the midst of the bush and said, listen, tell, tell them I am that I am. And then all of a sudden, Jesus comes on the scene and says, I am, I am. And I come to tell you that I know who this one Lord is. Jesus is the Lord. He is the Lord to the glory of the Father. Now, how is he Lord to the glory of the Father? Because he told you in John chapter 14, he says, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. So you can't glorify Jesus without glorifying the Father. When you talk about Jesus, you're talking about the Father. When you give praise to Jesus, you're giving praise to the Father. Why? How can you say that? Because he says, he told them, he said, listen, I'm going. He said, I'm getting away from here. I got to go and prepare a place for you. They said, how do we know? How, where are you going? He says, I'm going. He said, I'm going to prepare. Where are you going, Thomas? Said, how do we know the way? He said, I am the way. He said, you can't even come to the Father without me. He said, okay, what are you talking about? He said, well, he said, show me the Father. He said, have you not known me? Have, have you not been so long time with me? Don't you know that what I'm doing? All at the same time. 
That's why we declare our worship is not divided. We have one worship, the one God. Our prayers are not divided. Because when we pray, we're praying to one God. I can say Jesus. I can say Father. I can say Prince of Peace. I can say Lily of the Valley because it's all one God. Our God is not divided. I don't have no help here. He's one God that shows himself in many ways, but he is not divided. Hallelujah. He's God with three manifestations. And let me help you. I said three modes. I said three manifestations because if you put something in a mode, it's limited to one mode at one time. But when he manifests himself, he can be Jesus in the world by being baptized. He can be the Father speaking from heaven. And he can be the Holy Spirit descending like the dove. But let me ask you a question. How many people did you see? You saw Jesus and Jesus alone. That's one way. One Lord. One faith. Hey, one baptism. Saying there's one Lord, one faith, that's one faith, one Christian faith. I don't know how many denominations we have. God didn't make denominations. Oh, I said God didn't make denominations. Denominations were made by man. That's why some of you, you more committed to your denomination than you could have been committed to the Word of God. Because that's one thing. Up in the denomination, but let me tell you something the past or my path ends with a denomination when it goes against the word of God. I love my upbringing, I thank God for the church I was brought up in, but I'll go with the Bible before I go with the man. Come on, somebody, because heaven and earth will pass away, so the word of God will stand forever. Some of you sitting up here said, I was Baptist born and I, and I was Baptist raised, and after it's over, I'll be Baptist dead. But let me tell you something being Baptist does not save you. You need to make sure you're a part of the faith. The Bible says in this last days there will be many that will depart from the faith. So sadly there will be people that won't depart from the church but they'll depart from the faith. There are some people that be religious and they'll do all the church stuff but God says your heart is far from me. You have to make sure how many people you know go to church year in and year Sunday in and Sunday out out of a religious habit to the point they will debate with you over what you believe and they don't even read the Bible they don't study for themselves their Bible sits in their car in the back window as a good long charm hoping they won't get in an accident or get a speed ticket you got people that go to church all these many years and say they don't believe in paying tithes because the preacher ain't going to get my money. That's because you don't know.